Hey there, Monarch Nation. It's football in February. I'm Ted Alexander with Monarch head football coach Bobby Wilder. We'll mm -hmm. talk about signing day part two in just a yeah. moment, but what a moment in Super Bowl 52. <laughs> Old Dominion represented for the first time ever. Literally right before we started this segment, I was just on the phone with Rick Lovato. Um, dream come true. So excited, Ted. And I should add, he was perfect in that game. All his snaps, everything he did. Probably one of the biggest things that he did, he told me on the phone, was talking to the young kicker. He had a miss early and they were on the sideline and just going through their routine and then the young kicker was perfect after that. But we also got some good news in that Rick Lovato will be here March 1st for that's, the basketball game. That's a Thursday mm -hmm. game at the TED. March the 1st, put it on your calendar. Rick Lovato will be here celebrating mm -hmm. Old Dominion's first ever Super Bowl participant and Super Bowl champion. Now, the thing I yeah. noticed, never have I watched a long snapper more right. than uh, <laughs> since Rick got with the Eagles, but yeah. you also notice how key a role the long snapper plays wow. because the mm -hmm. Patriot long snapper had an off day. You're right. That's a great point by you, Ted, and that got them off early. There, it was a 22-12 game at the half, and the Patriots had a field goal and an extra point they missed. Could have been a one-score game. That's how big the long snapper is and, and the way Rick performed all this year, Ted, to have him here March 1st, to be able to honor him and, and share him with the fans, all the fans that have ever cheered for Rick Lovato and that were pulling for him. This is a big moment for all of us. He's always been a huge proponent of Old Dominion, obviously. Sure Got his is. college here and, and that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Look forward to seeing him on March 1st. Now let's talk about signing day. The newest Monarchs coming mm -hmm. into the program, the signing class of 2018. For the first time this year, two signings. Signing days. Right. One in December, you have the bulk of the class, and then two guys mm -hmm. for February. Yeah, this is really, it's uncharted territory, Ted, as you mentioned, first ever. So we signed the majority of the class in December, 17 players in December, two that we signed today that we're excited about, a total of 19 in this class. And what you're going to notice overall about this class, Ted, is the height. We're getting taller getting taller, uh, and, and obviously it's necessary when you're playing FBS mm -hmm. week in, week out. So let's That's get right. to the class of 2018 for Old Dominion football signees, beginning with the February signees, Elijah Davis, a 5'10", 210-pound running back from Lynchburg who's piled up some numbers. Wow, has he ever. Elijah Davis has rushed for a Virginia high school record, 6,690 yards. Now, he's had some incredible seasons, uh, 229 yards and a touchdown in the state championship game, which I got to see in person, which was an incredible effort. But here's the thing about Elijah. Not only can he run, he can catch the ball out of the backfield. He's got impressive numbers there, and he can block. So an all-purpose type of a back, Ted. Jack Hassard is a six foot five inch, 260 pound offensive lineman from Greensboro, North Carolina. Yeah, what grabs your attention about Jack and really got our attention was um, how physical he plays. Now he's, we're signing him today. We, we signed Jack today, Ted. He was a little bit later in the process. You just keep looking, you keep evaluating, and you find guys like Jack that, that were a little bit overlooked, maybe a little undersized uh, in the past, didn't have the impressive video, but wow, did he jump off the video this year. Now to the guys that decided to sign in December, mm -hmm. and, and really how has that changed the world for uh, your program? Well, first of all, I want to say I'm really proud of these 17 because they, they signed December 20th, Ted. Most of them were committed going back to June, July. They stuck with us the entire way, and that speaks to loyalty, and you can build on that with loyalty. What it does, Ted, it takes the pressure off them. That's six weeks. They don't have to worry about it. Am I signing? Who am I signing with? And also for us as coaches, you get to sign in December and then evaluate the next six weeks. What are your needs? So here we go. The signees from December, Dante Anthony Jr., 6'6", 215-pound tight end from Oxon Hill, Maryland. 6'6", and every time I see him today, I tell him he's getting taller every time I see him. He is 6'6". This is a player that is just coming into his own, just starting to develop as a player. He's somebody that we feel like has tremendous upside as a football player. Lance Boykin, six foot, two inches tall, 180 pound defensive back from High Point, North Carolina. Yeah, Lance is, again, the size, Ted. Look at that size for, for a corner, 6'2". 99 tackles and 14 interceptions in his career. 14 interceptions, that's a big number. He's also a two-way player. He rushed for 1,500 yards, 16 touchdowns. And uh, if, if you go on YouTube, you'll see some impressive dunks in the basketball game. Tremendous athlete. 
Diego Cervantes is a 6'2", 280-pound offensive lineman from Sacramento, California. Mid-year signee, Ted. He joined us January 9th, working out now with the rest of his teammates. Played on an outstanding team against great competition. As you know, Ted, the California Junior College football is good football. He's an excellent student, was a starting center on a 10-2 and two team, comes in and right away gives us tremendous depth in the offensive line. Damian Charity is a six foot, 160 pound safety from Phoebus High School in Hampton. Yeah, local guy who had an outstanding season. He's had a great career. He's also a two time All American on the track team, Ted. So you're talking about a safety with size, six feet tall. Uh, he's got to bulk up, get a little stronger, which he will, but also a tremendous track athlete. So a guy with size who can run. Nigel Fitzgerald is a six foot five inch, 210 pound wide receiver from Greensboro, North Carolina. Nigel Fitzgerald is a high school graduate, Ted. He graduated from high school in December and joined us working out now. Look at that size. I mean, that is tremendous size already for a high school graduate. And now you look at him physically right now when I see him walking around, he looks like one of our veterans. Very excited to have him here right now, Ted. Kenny Gardner the third, 6'2", 180-pound cornerback, Silver Spring, Maryland. Again, 6'2". Look at that height, Ted. He's 180 pounds. What jumps out about Kenny Gardner is how physical he plays football. He is a very physical, athletic football player. Broughton Hatcher, 6'5", 250, a long snapper from Jefferson, South Carolina. Yeah, really excited with Broughton. And the size, Ted, 6'5", 250. We've never had a long snapper that big. All due respect to Rick Lovato, <laughs> Super Bowl champion. We've never had a high school player we've signed with this size. Very consistent, good football player. Cornell Hendrick, six foot, one inches tall, 160 pound wide receiver from Warrington, North Carolina. Wow, he was another guy that was later in the process finding out about him. And then you watch his video, Ted, he can catch, he can run, he can tackle. Uh, he intercepts passes. He had nine interceptions this year, Ted. So that theme of trying to find really good two-way players, that's what Cornell is. O'Shea Jackson is a 6'5", 235-pound defensive end from Philadelphia. Size and speed that, that really jump out, Ted, when, when you look at him physically, when you see him. Such an impressive-looking young man. Played against really good competition uh, in the league he was in in Philadelphia. Will Knight, a 5'10", 210-pound running back from Germantown, PA. Ted, he had 6,490 yards rushing in his career. All-time leading rusher in Delaware. And here's Elijah Davis, 6,690 yards. They're only separated by a couple hundred yards, those two backs. So Will Knight, what an impressive running back. And, and his style, he can run, he can catch. He's very versatile. He was the player of the year uh, in Delaware. Just a tremendous player, Ted, that helped lead his team to three straight state championships. Aaron Moore, 6'2", 160 pounds, wide receiver, Dumfries, Virginia. Yeah, Aaron battled injuries this year, Ted, which is why he was a little bit under the radar in recruiting. But again, that size, 6'2", you can see the height. We keep going over that. Aaron's a guy who's got size, and when he gets healthy, is going to be a really good player. Sequoia McDuffie, 6'5", 275, a defensive tackle from Florence, South Carolina. 6'5", 275, there's that size again, Ted, but he's also got outstanding athleticism. He's played inside, he can play on the edge, and you know he's a good player when he plays in the, uh, the South Carolina, North Carolina All-Star game. Justin Richardson, 6'1", 180 pounds safety from Hollywood, Florida. 64 tackles and five interceptions as a senior against tremendous competition. His team won the state championship, the 3A Florida State Championship this year, so he plays against excellent competition, comes from a winning program, and a very productive player in the back end. Nick Saldaveri, 6'6", 284, an offensive lineman from Monroe, North Carolina. Definitely a guy with the size, Ted, just developing into a player. Another guy that's a little bit under the radar, because when you watch his video, you can tell it's going to be a year, two years, that he's going to need to develop. He's a big guy, he's got to get stronger, but he definitely has the body and the mentality. Isaiah Spencer, a quarterback, 6'5", 205 pounds from Gloucester, Virginia. Yeah, Isaiah's got the size, he's got the arm strength, he's got tremendous movement skills, outstanding basketball player. The type of player, Ted, with the athleticism that Isaiah has is somebody that you can definitely build on and develop at that position. Blake Watson, 5'9", 170 pound wide receiver, Cary, North Carolina. Yeah, the thing that really jumps out to you about Blake when you watch his video is how explosive his catches are. He averaged almost 20 yards a catch in his career, Ted, playing against very good competition. 
A.C. White, a 6'3", 210-pound tight end from Harrisonburg, Virginia. Yeah, A.C. White comes from a, a tremendous athletic family um, overall. And what we really liked about A.C. is his position flexibility. He played quarterback in high school. He's got the ability to, had to play multiple positions, very high football IQ and tremendous athleticism. So there you have it, the 2018 signees for the ODU football program, December and February, mm. uh, a new rule designed to help right. coaches and most importantly the student athletes. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's helped the players, the high school players. It's also helped the high school coaches, Ted. They get forgotten in this a lot, how hard they have to work. And with the majority of their players signing in December, now they've got that next six weeks to the second signing period to help their other players that didn't sign or might be Division two or three. So it helped everybody. Everybody, the high school coaches helped us as college coaches and took a lot of pressure off the high school players. Coach, congratulations uh, to you and your staff. Uh, we know you put thousands of miles mm -hmm. on the trip ticks going to recruit, and uh, here's yeah. the new class. We look forward to seeing them. Oh, so excited, Ted, and a big shout out to you and everybody else on campus that helped us with this class. As you know, it takes a village when you're recruiting. We had tremendous support from everybody at Old Dominion. Much appreciated. There you have it, the class of 2018 for head football coach Bobby Wilder. I'm Ted Alexander from Monarch Media.